No problem. Good afternoon and welcome to Argus High School. I'm Steve Stricker alongside Andy Stone. Hello, hello, and here we go. We're coming to you live from Eugene Snyder Field on the RTC4.com television and internet networks. Tonight we have the home opener for the boys Argus Dragons soccer team. They are hosting the Warsaw Tigers. Our sponsors for tonight's broadcast are RTC Fiber Communications, the Zone Sports Complex of Northern Indiana, In Stitches and Signs, CNS Outdoor, CNS Automotive, Blue Dragon Taekwondo of Rochester, and First Federal Savings Bank. Both teams come into tonight with a 0-0 mark. It's the first game of the season for both. The Argus Dragons are coming off of an 18 and 4 and 2 mark in 2015 that included a sectional and regional championship. Warsaw Tigers last season were 5 and 14 with a young squad. They boast 10 seniors this year. And Andy, I think Warsaw is going to come in with a little chip on their shoulder. The Dragons went over to Warsaw last season and defeated the Tigers. They're going to be looking for some payback here today. Yeah, the Dragons uh, went over and uh, did a, a huge, huge surprise, I mean, as far as what Warsaw was considering. But uh, we, we've always known what the Dragons had uh, the capability of doing. And last year, uh, we went up big and uh, took the, the win, even with getting a big injury throughout the game, uh, with Vinny Stone uh, dislocating and breaking his collarbone all in one uh, play from the goalkeeper. Uh, the Dragons still took the win, and uh, yeah, you bet you the uh, Warsaw Tigers are not going to sit still today. They're going to want to get uh, get that win back on their side. But uh, you know, this is the you know a, a great rivalry, Argus and Warsaw. It's a big school versus little school, and uh, you know when it comes to the overall numbers, they're fairly uh, equal with wins and losses. But uh, whenever you lose, the next season you come back, you always want that revenge. So uh, the Tigers are going to have a little bit of blood in their mouth, and we're going to see how the Dragons handle that. The Dragons have a uh, younger squad this year, and now the Tigers have a, a tad bit older squad, like you're saying, uh, hosting 10 seniors on their team. And uh, <clears throat> the big thing is Argus is small and more mighty because this is our 53rd year in uh, high school soccer. We are obviously the longest running program in history for the state. We started it with CMA. And uh, when that tradition becomes such a high thing and platform within a program, we always have a quality, quality team. We've got quality coach with Coach Vanderwill. And, uh, you know, the Tigers are going to have their work cut out for them. Yeah, the Dragons are coached by Todd Vanderweel, as you said. He's entering his ninth season as the head man of the program. Warsaw Tigers are coached by Frank, Frank Cortis, Cortois. <laughs> I should have checked that out before I said it. You should have just left me yeah, handle that. I had it in my um, <laughs> Well, toys. Andy, we've seen the we've seen the Dragons play a couple times now. They had a scrimmage a couple weeks ago after the alumni games, and then we saw them live here on the RTC4.com network last Saturday, where they played against uh, Winnemac and Culver Community. But they did really well against Winnemac and Culver Community. But Warsaw probably post, poses just a little bit higher of a threat level. Uh, to the yeah. Uh, dragons yeah i mean uh, the, the quality of the program we're not knocking winnemac or culver high school programs they are very good they are smaller schools though and there's a lot of uh, a big school has lots of players to choose from and there's a lot of travel programs that feed into the warsaw community schools uh high school program and that does uh does raise the level of uh, play uh, a little bit, so you know it's uh, it's going to be a good match. I, I look to see some fast-paced transition from uh, counter attacks and definitely spreading the field. Now the Dragons love the wide field. We have one of the biggest fields in the state. Uh, Eugene Snyder Field was made that way because the old method of soccer was <clears throat> run fast, kick it hard, and uh, beat them to the ball. And uh, the game has become more finessed, more. European style of play with technical abilities and tactics playing into it more than 
hustle and pure grit, but uh, the Dragons have a big field and they like to spread it. And that always tends to hurt some of these teams that come to visit because they're not quite used to the size of the field. As you can tell, it's massive. It's larger than any football field out there just by its uh, the minimum standards. And we are at the max level of width and uh, length on when it comes to field play. So they're, I guess, going back to my novice on soccer, they're, they're obviously you're saying different size fields. Uh, well, every uh, there's different sizes for age groups. And then when it comes to soccer fields per high school, there are some gray areas. You can have it no larger than this, and you can have it no smaller than this, but they are not uniform across hmm. the board. And I'll give you the perfect example. If you look at our field compared to Newton Park, you can see the definite difference on width of the fields, and, and it makes a difference. So some teams get really used to practicing on a t small, narrow field, so their touches are a little bit quicker. When they go to do a corner kick, they might not hit it as far because they know that the width of the field isn't as wide, so on and so forth. When you get to a bigger field, you may not hit it hard enough, and uh, you know your ball that usually goes middle of the field or sometimes far post gets to near post on a large field or maybe barely in the middle. So it, it plays advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, you know, it just depends on what you're used to. Uh, both fields, they're basically real close, but you can have a five to 10 yard difference on width and uh, length from field to field you play at. That's uh, for somebody who grew up playing football or and, basketball. And basketball, set, that's, set, that's, that's, that's just how it a, is. That concept to me is just strange because well, I couldn't imagine you know, okay, our football field's 90 yards. <laughs> yeah. You know, our football field's 100 yards. Yeah. Our, you know, that's just strange, well, I guess. But Yeah, it's part of the rulings. And, the, the, you know, just like basketball or football compared to soccer, you can step on the line in basketball, you're out of bounds. You step on the line, you can stand out of bounds, you can dance on the line, you can dribble the ball down the line. As long as the whole thing doesn't cross, you're still in play. It's uh, just difference of the game. And, uh, you know, that's where sometimes it makes it complex for people to understand, you know, and it doesn't do the sport justice sometimes when you watch upper levels, such as some of the stuff in Europe or MLS, because there are some negatives with the game. But when it comes down to it, you know, it's a different animal, but we as, uh, you know, in Argus and a lot of the surrounding communities, you know, for the last 20 some years have grown up with the sport. And uh, they've learned it, and they love it, you know. And obviously, if you're from here, it's been 50-some years instead of just 25, 30. It's been 50. Our girls' program's been over 20 years, and, and it was one of the first for a full-fledged girls' program. So, you know, uh, we love it. We are very proud of it. Um, you know, a lot of the local communities admire us for what we do with this sport, and, you know, to say we're going to go and compete, if we joined and uh, and put a football field out and played football, uh, we'd be destroyed for 20 years. We'd never be up to the level because we're just not used to it. So there's times where being in it for so long definitely has its benefits. But if you're not always educating about it and learning about it and advancing your programs, you know people tend to catch up, and and that's it's really nice, you know. So. But if you're if you're just joining us, we are uh, Steve and Andy, uh, Argus uh, Voice Sports Network, and we're joined. Uh, we are on the RTC4.com network. Yep. And RTC4 in uh, Rochester. <laughs> That's Scott Sager back there, and we we got to thank him particularly for bringing his uh, expertise and knowledge to us here in Argus. We've been doing broadcasts here for a couple years, and what he brought to the table with RTC coming up here has expanded everything that we've been doing, not only in the broadcast that we do, but also with the uh, the students are getting involved. Uh, there's a whole crew of, I think, nine students that are going around and doing a lot of filming, not just in sporting events. They're filming things at the school, school board meetings, town board meetings, uh, all kinds of things. So we definitely thank Scott and RTC for uh, what they've done. And we are coming to you live. We've got about two minutes left here before the start of this one. We are coming to you live from Argus High School at Eugene Snyder Field, the, quote, perfect pitch, which it's a beautiful night here on a Tuesday night. 
The sun is just over the horizon here, over the field. The grass is nice and green. The two teams are on the sidelines getting ready to go here with the game. And you can always, uh, if you want, tweet us at Argus Sports on Twitter, and we'll give you a shout-out here. I know there's some... Uh, Girls, uh, kids that are going back to college here, and some first timers be... going back as freshmen. Yeah, and yeah, uh, so. you guys, uh, if you're if you're tuning in to uh, listen on the broadcast, you know, give us a tweet here, and we'll give you a shout out, and hopefully things are going well for you. So we like to uh, reach out to all those people that um, are, uh, you know, from Argus that may not be in town right now. So our uh, girls program they are over at kankakee valley with their season opener tonight my last update the jv was playing and they were down one to nil i have not got an update from your wife here lately so i guess that's still the score one nil just after halftime one nil so the jv there's a 6 15 start over there so they got a little bit of a late start over at kankakee valley um we are just about getting set to go here. The, the two teams, teams are coming out, and here. Uh, here we go. The announcements are having some issues with the uh, with the microphone, but we're going to go ahead and do our our bit. Here we are. We're lined up. We have our starters. So here we go with the visiting Warsaw Tigers. All right. So here we go. We're going to just continue and roll with it. So we have number three. Uh, let's see here. Goalkeeper for Warsaw is, well, according to the numbers, it's Cole Voss. Number two is Pedro Mansavales. Number six is Andrew Mevis. Number seven is Blake Burns. Number ten is Tidros Baralisman. Number eleven is Garrett Reinhold. Number twelve is Eric Okak. Number fourteen, J.P. Krantz. Number fifteen, Payne Rager. Number 18, Justice Voss. And that should be the starting lineup. We're going to do the national anthem. We'll get back with the starters for the Argus Dragons. here okay, the lineup for the well they're going to do the visiting lineup number two the senior defender Pedro Masfalos 
We've already gone through, but we'll just watch these gentlemen at the moment. Well, while we're doing that, we got a update. It's still one to nil at the JV girls. All right, 22 minutes left to go in the game. 22 left. Blake Burns was number seven. Number 10. Tedro Bellarmsman. Number 11. Sophomore Garrett Reinholdt. Number 12. Eric Okak. Number 14, Jacob Kratz. Number 15, Payne Rager. Number 16, Louis Clito. And then number 18, Justice Voss. Number 18, and then the senior midfielder, Justice Voss. And the goalkeeper is Thomas Rivera. Thomas Rivera is the goalkeeper. That was a correction from Cole Voss. Sorry. And for the Argus Dragons. And here we go for the Argus Dragons. Senior number seven, number seven Vincent Stone. Senior midfielder Vincent Stone. Number eight, senior number Travis eight, Tanner. Senior midfielder. Number Travis nine, Tanner. senior Zach Trump. They're coming. Number nine. Ah, these guys are slow. Senior defender, <laughs> Zach Trump. All right, number, number ten. 10. The freshman, Freshman's Owen Nifong. Number, Number 11, 11, the sophomore, the sophomore Jonah, Osborne. Jonah Osborne. Number 12, 12 the sophomore, Tim Almeyer. Tim Almeyer. Number 13, Number 13, the junior, junior Jacob, Olds. Jacob Olds. Number 14, Number 14 the senior, Tyler Betts. Tyler Betts. Number 16, the senior Evan Number Johnson. Senior defender Evan Johnson. Number 23, the senior Dylan Ballinger. Senior midfielder. And in the Dylan box, Ballinger. protecting the goal, the senior. Number 79, Kyle Fishburn. The referees tonight. All right, tonight's officials will be uh, A.R. Andy Petz and Ashley Bowden. In the center, we have Jerry Chisholm. All right, here we go, getting ready to go with the 53rd season of Argus Dragon Soccer here from Eugene Snyder Field on the RTC4.com network. So they're going to be taking on the Warsaw Tigers. Argus comes into the season in the preseason rankings in Class A at number 18. Warsaw is unranked in the preseason polls. Well, you can see how the Dragons are ranked. Uh, five consecutive sectionals, five consecutive regional championships. And... Uh, uh, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten seniors matching the Warsaw Tigers. So it's going to be a good squad. They're playing a flat four. It looks like we're going with a 4 4 2 lineup out of the Dragons. And uh, looks to be the same out of the Tigers 4 4 2 with the flat four in the back. So we're going to see. It'll be a battle of wheels on the defense. And we know that Stone's got some up on offense. So see what happens. Ball's been dropped across the middle and they're going to play around on the wide. Nice through ball and it's going to be stepped up received by Johnson. And it's got good ball moving out of the Tigers. He's going to do a through ball. And J Trump gets back here. It's going to be a cross out of Fishburne and it's going to be a header and it's going to be stayed into play. Back in the center and here's a quick header and it's going out of bounds and it's going to be a goal kick. 
Good so, progressive play out of the Tigers already. And some nice head work right there by <laughs> yeah. the Tigers back and forth and able to keep it going. Unable to produce a goal out of that. <clears throat> Fishburn with the goal kick. Puts it wide. Almeyer chases, and it's got a bounce throw into the Tigers. Long throw, tipped around him. Nice little move. It's going to be 45 drop. Misses, kicks back. Here comes Almeyer. Has it. Puts the ball up. Gives it away. Here comes Warsaw across the center. And Trump kicks it out. Puts it up. Here comes the ball leading. Headed across the middle. Here comes Ballinger. He's going to head it forward. And unfortunately, it goes straight up and bound. Ball's played. Here comes Osborne. And an unfortunate pass. Stone has the ball. He's going to make a cut. He's going to make another move. <laughs> They're not going to give him that call. They know he's strong. Sometimes it's counter beneficial when they know you're a super strong player because they uh, sometimes don't call some of that stuff against the other team when you're able to play through it. So we'll see what happens with that. Nice little move out of Warsaw. Here's our leading ball. Trump's got number six. He's got wheels. He's got good move. Moves the arm up, and Fishburne saves. Shot on goal by number six. Richard Mevis. Warsaw is definitely starting off very aggressively, playing a lot of the game so far down on their offensive end. And there's a goal already. Number seven, Blake Burns. Yeah, that's the uh, thing for the Dragons. You know, you play with fire too long right there. They they've gave them a lot of opportunities right in front of the goal, just not able to close. And then Warsaw, you know, finally got the opportunity there and able to put it in at 37-36. In the third minute of the game, they've already scored. So Coach Vandal is not going to be happy with that. Here comes Stone with the ball. He's going to dribble, gives it to Ballinger, steps up. Nifong steps over, gets it. Timmy Almeyer with a great tackle, puts it up to Stone. Stone looks, gives it away. Olds has it, plays it wide, doesn't make his target. Another and run out. Good save out of Fishburn. Can have a goal kick on the nope, far side. Kick. Yep, corner kick. corner kick, I mean. I knew corner kick in my head, I just said goal kick. So, so another, yeah. uh, another they're going to have to pay attention. Number six is really quick. He's uh, he's a bigger kid. He's nice and got some size to him. But man, is he fast! And they're going to have to judge it. There's corner in and nice corner head hit over the bar, and it's going to be goal kick for the Dragons. Well, this is not the way the Dragons wanted to start their 2016 season, going down in the third minute. Good ball from Stone leading up to Ballinger. Ballinger looks and gives it away with the pass. Olds receives it. Puts it up to Ballinger. Ballinger looks and feeds it to Stone, and the ball is received once again. Trying to go with a through ball or trying to play the feet. Either way, it's been to Warsaw both times. And here comes the transition play out of Warsaw. And they are using speed. It's a give and go on the side. He kicks it across the middle. Good little touch. And he goes down, and there is no call, no contact. And it's going to be a throw in for Warsaw. Ball's in. Almeyer kicks it out. Another throw in. Warsaw has the throw in, drops it back. Creates some space, puts it towards the center. And he still has it. And he's offsides. Came from an offsides pitch in. So if you're offsides, even if you step on sides and no one has the ball when you pass to you, you came from an offside position. So that's why that play was made, or call was made. <clears throat> like in football, when you go over the line, you yes. over the line. Unless you get back before they hike it. 
Just depends on if you make contact or not. Yeah, if you make contact, you're in trouble. And if the nose guard's paying attention, right, he hikes the ball immediately when he sees you cross that line. Here's another offsides play. Be a center that would hike the ball. All right, center. Yeah. Tells you where I'm at with football. I'm on the pitch, not on the field. Uh, 13 minutes left in the girls' JV game. Dragons still down 1-0. That's not too bad a showing for the JV, being it's their first time under a new coach with J- Coach Jay Framo at the head and then obviously Zach Schaefer returning to help out the girls. Another small school, big school yep, rivalry. Uh, rivalry right there with Kankakee Valley. Good little move out of the iPhone. Back over to Betts. Betts creating space. Kicks the ball through, and here comes Tanner. Tanner's going to look for the cross, and he's shielded, and it's going to be a goal kick. When they shield that ball like that, is that is that legal? That's, that's a legal play. Okay. I mean, you get to use your body to shield the ball, let it go out of bounds, or keep it from a keeper. But the biggest thing is if they go put their hands up and prevent a guy from going around them, Vinny Stones broke loose, and it's a goal. What a shot out of Stone. A great little through ball from Nifong with the assist. Or unassist, I guess they're calling it unassisted. 33-35. Vinny Stone evens up. Yeah, one that was the a one. quality little play. Nifong with the through ball. Stone takes two, two touches. The second one was the shot. Absolutely quick burst of speed. Number seven, Stone. Number 10, the assist from Nifong. Absolutely brilliant little play. And here comes the Dragons fighting back. Here comes Warsaw immediately coming with pace. They always say the first couple minutes after a goal is the most dangerous because the team gets fired up and wants to get back in it. Number 11 playing with serious strength, doing well. Great little through ball. Number six breaks through. And Olds with a great run through and a clear out. They're going to have to watch number six. Uh, Andrew Mevis, the boy, is strong, and he is quick. He's deceptively quick. Yeah, He's there, hooking he is, him. there he is once again. He was hooking him. There it is, and it was called because he was had his arm preventing Zach Trump from getting around him, and that's just a perfect call. And Fishburne's not waiting, putting in there, and that's good. It's going to be an Argus throw in on the near sideline. Osborne, Stone. Stone looks and keeps it in play, and he still has it. Looks. He's working great ball to Nifong, and unfortunately was unable to get it. Here's a long through ball, and Trump is going to have issues, and Fishburne's way out and makes a good save, and Mevis tried to do the old messy chip over him and just didn't quite get it. Yeah, Kyle kind of got caught in no yeah. man's land on that one a little bit. Yeah. You was come able out, to make yeah. the play, though. <laughs> you come out when you need to. We'll see how long this motor for Mevis is. He's got speed. He uses his strength well. You can see him move him off the ball. It looks to me like, Andy, they're just kind of throwing it over the top or and kicking just, it over the they're top just, and letting They're him trying run. to break him and win it with speed only. It's long ball game. So what you should do or possibly do is rotate to a four-person stopper sweeper so it's a diamond in the back instead of a flat back. But I'll tell you right now, there's no way that kid, number six, Mevis, will be able to keep up with the engine that Johnson – Oh, a nice ball in the middle that Evan Johnson and uh, Zach Trump have. They can run all day long. They're skinny rascals, and they got good engines from long training for lots of time. So Mevis will have a lot of good runs in him, but I don't know if he'll have the stamina to keep it up for a full game, which will be good for the Dragons because he's putting them under pressure. Trump kicks it up, goes to... Back in the mids, and here comes Betts. Misses. Good cutoff by Osborne. Betts has it. Here comes Knife or Osborne to Stone. Stone's going to get the through ball to Ballinger, and he's not going to get there, and they just kick it out clear real quick, and it's going to be a throw in. Argus throw in on the near side. Goes to Stone. Ball's in. Stone has it. Goes, splits him. And he still threw him, and he almost goes around, and it's going to be chip back into 45, and an easy tap in for Ballinger. What a Beautiful blast play Stone. by Vinny Stone. 30, 40 to go. Wow. Goes through four, drops it at a 45. You heard me say that in the previous game. It's a jamboree. He puts it at a 45 where his teammates are waiting and puts it in. What a play. So 30, 30 minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. 
Stone to Ballinger makes oh, it a man. two to one game favor of the Dragons. Much better. That's uh, that's what you like to see. Oh, and that's a good play out of Johnson to get that. They're going to be all over Stone. Watch them getting chippy. It's going to be that way. Look, there it is. See the two hands on him. And there he is. Takes him down afterwards from behind. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be one of those games. He's going to mark. They're going to mark him very hard now. Because, uh, you know, basically he's gone through them twice, and uh, players get very vengeful <laughs> when that happens. So I hope the uh, center official will be able to take care of that and keep it to a dull roar today. We don't need anyone injured. Knife on, going far, and Stone's going to be wide, and he's just about tried to bicycle, but the Warsaw player got his head in the way to head it out. So here we go. Warsaw's trying to throw ball, and Trump steps up and drills it up in the play. Nice header wide. Good little play out of Warsaw, and good hustle out of Osborne. Warsaw has it, working on transition. Kicks it over. A little bit of ping pong in the middle. Everybody's a little out of sorts. Game's a little faster than what they can control. Ballinger chips it up to Stone, and it's too far to the keeper steps out, and he instantly rolls it wide. Good little hustle out of Osborne. Ball's touched far out, and he's trying to throw ball long. But you noticed how far back six is now. He not, doesn't. He not quite as far up with his. Yeah, he's uh, not as right now. Quite far up, and that's a sign where he's already starting to get a little bit tired. He's not pressing that quick long ball like he was. He's creating a little more space so he can get himself a little bit more rest. Yeah, another offsides, and there's a wasted kick, and that would be an official warning if it was I was on the field as an official for kicking it away like that. There's no reason to when his calls made. Basically, just allowing his team to get set up. Out of bounds. It's going to be an Argus throw in on the far side. And we want to give a quick shout out to the boys junior high for stepping up and helping us with the uh, ball boys tonight. It's kind of tradition where JV, boys and girls, does that for the JV and varsity programs. Uh, and it's kind of nice. Everyone gets involved, and it's kind of a rite of passage, as they say. There's a long through ball, and that was good. And there's a quick save out of Fishburn. What a save. Wow. Come out with the quick hands. And, and Mevis has won that back, but that is just quality. And Stone's playing the miss, and he causes their player to drill it and go out of bounds and creates the corner kick out of nothing. Well, I got to talk about that save by Fishburn again. <laughs> that was a tremendous save one-on-one -on -one right there, and he got his hands up and somehow stopped that ball by yeah. Mevis, and what? wonderful save. Keeps it to two to one. Yeah, we talked about uh, how he came out and was kind of caught in no man's land that first time when he charged tonight. That game, or that segment right there, he knew exactly when to come out, made his body big, and got a great save. Here's the ball in, and it's headed out. So it's a foot race. It's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be throw in for Osborne. So, uh, so far, we've had zero subs for either team. We're going to see how long that lasts. Good ball out of Osborne. Kicks it over, and then Warsaw has control. Osborne just about gets there. Here's the ball over. Ballinger's going to step over and receive it. And Ballinger looks. Kicks it wide. Good pass. Osborne, chip. It's way up in the air. Stone's going to not be able to get to it. It's out of bounds before he even has a chance. And Stone taps it over to the keeper. Nice little sign of sportsmanship. The Argus boys JV played Warsaw here before the start of this game and was defeated by a score of nine to one. Yeah, it was uh, you know, the Dragons JV. There's uh, we don't have a huge amount of players, so the subs are limited. There's a little bit of help out of uh, some varsity doing dual roles. So, so, but yeah, so it makes uh, makes it a little bit tough at times. We have some of the players up on varsity only, so. But uh, you know what? What doesn't uh, hurt you only makes you stronger and teaches you a, little, a good lesson to uh, lose once in a while. So they're going to have to work for it this season. Here comes Fishburne with another save. Ball's played over. Have a final score from Kankakee Valley. The JV girls lost one to nil. The ball's played way up, and the keeper comes out. And they are being aware of the long ball to Stone. And 
aware of his pace. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, not. I tell you what, the JV's the, got some work to do on the, the girls' side, but a one nil on a huge school like that's a pretty good showing from what I've got to see out of the players. And you know what? Uh, they can't hang their head. So. Here we go. We got 25 20 left in the first half. Dragons up 2 1. And we have our first sub of the game. Number five, Vanderweel coming in for Dylan Ballinger. Number 23. So uh, the Dragons have their first sub of the game. Uh, Lucas Vanderweel. So we're going to see what the sophomore can do. Ballinger goes out having scored the goal yep. to make it 2 to 1 for the Dragons. Off of the stone assist. Yep, so here we go. The stone has the ball in the middle, and he turns, and it gets taken away. Here comes Zach Trump. Kicks it. Dutch touch up to Betts. Betts gets the ball away, and then Osborne. So Olds makes a nice pass right over to Betts. Betts tries to three fed it through the line, and it gets re intercepted. Ball's loose. Timmy steps up, puts it over. Almeyer playing very tough already. He's got an engine like no ever. He's going as a sophomore and just playing above his years, if you ask me. He's been quality since his end of his freshman year when he stepped up and played throughout the regionals. Here's a long ball across the field. It's a good switch. He receives it, spreads the field, passes it back in the middle, and a nice little through ball, but a great read out of Johnson. Steps up and clears it out, and here comes Nifong with the chip. Up to Stone. Stone's going to give it to Vanderwill. Vanderwill's going to press high and just about gets it to sliding clear out. But Vanderwill maintains possession, gives it over. Tanner. Tanner gets the ball taken away. Ball's headed up, and Stone's going to receive it to the feet. Tanner drops it back to Tim Almeyer. Tim, he has it. Stone's all the way back and taking it, and he's going to get the ball back again, and he's got it still. And the ball is through. Here comes Trump. Trump's going to go. And there's an extra hand in the back, if you notice that. <laughs> and uh, number six, Mevis likes to let the guys know that he's there. And, uh, you know, there's a little strength in the back, and it knocks people a little bit. And there's that one right there was called as I was just talking about it. Sometimes you do that just to let them know and get them out of sorts, get them out of balance. But uh, if you do it right there in front of the official, it's going to be obvious they're going to make that call. And it's stepped up, tackled. It's a good quality tackle. The ball goes forward, and Trump plays it back to Fishburn and kicks it all the way up. Here comes Vanderwill. The ball's in the air. Vanderwill's going to run through. It's a bad skip. And the ball pressure's on, and here's a clearance. And a little bit of kickball going on. Both teams, obviously, it's the first game of the season. You can tell they're out of sorts at times with the possession play. Nice little chip move. Good defensive move by Olds. He's carrying it, waiting for the defender to commit. And there he is. He gets the ball up, and Vanderwill, and it's out of bounds. And it's going to be thrown in for the Tigers. They are not waiting. They instantly throw it in. And they switch fields, and that's a brilliant switch. You like to see it all the way across field right to your other player. And then they try to the through ball, which is read very well by Fishburne, and it's way out of reach of the player. And Fishburne with the big clear. Well, they were trying that over-the-top play again, but nobody went with it and yeah. uh, just went right to Fishburne. Well, you know why nobody's going with it. They're we're, running out of gas. Yeah we're, yeah, we're a few minutes into the first half already, only 21 minutes left. Uh, the wheels aren't quite as fresh. They're not out, but they're not quite as fresh. Only one sub so yep. far, and that was for Argus. I see uh, Trump or Johnson went to head that, and I think a foot save would or settle would have been a lot better. And there's a tap in out of Warsaw. And there's a cross in the middle. It's just bobbled up in the air, and nobody got there for the drags and just stood there. And uh, number 10, by the looks of it, ran through and toe-poked it in. And, uh, looked, uh, looked like it was going to be a play there by uh, Fishburn, Fishburn, but, but then, just unable to corral it for yeah. some reason, and they were able to poke that in. Evens the score up with 21-20 left to go in the first half, 2-2 two two now. So the, the defense is going to have to communicate a little bit more. 
And now Dylan Ballinger's in the back. And uh, they're going to have to think about it. Nice little play. And here comes the Tigers again. And the ball is going to be a corner kick off of Tim Almeyer. Well, we got Randy Stearns, Alex, but his name is, they call him Randy. Uh, everybody knows him as Randy because he started uh, the program with a couple other Alexes, so the team's always called him Randy ever since. He's a senior now. He's going to be subbing in. Here's a corner kick, and the ball's all the way through, and it seems like nobody's going after it except for Warsaw. Warsaw, he tries some ambitious shot, and it's way off the mark. And here comes Kyle Fishburn with the kick. Well, we talked about Warsaw having, you know, a little less gas in the tank. It looks like there's several of the Argus players that are in the same boat right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you got you got players checking in uh, towards the middle, and then they're making runs and this and that. Uh, I really like to see the Dragons spread the field a little bit more. A lot of the stuff's going up the middle. There's a handball. Yeah, and that's not called. It's, the AR did have his flag up, and the uh, center waved it on, and good call from the AR and and the ball, the ball still in play here we go and good possession play unfortunately the pass was a good intent but went right out of bounds for Morsel and it's going to be Dragons throw in Stone heads it up and it's out of bounds that's the play where I like to see the players use their chest and settle the feet instead of a head ball headers are hard to control you can get them going in a general direction. They're really nice when you're trying to score, but when you're in the middle of the field or up in your field towards the advance to the third of the goal, I like to see a chest-to-feet play to where you can uh, settle it. So speed of play, definitely an issue out of the Dragons and allows Warsaw to step up and intercept. Almeyer gets it, kicks the ball up, and once again, Warsaw intercepts, but Timmy hustles, recovers, crosses it, and it's on the mark, and here comes the Dragons, and the ball is cleared wide. Osborne looks. There's a long pass, and it's pushed forward, and it's a good tackle, and he still has it. Betts moves, and we lose his control, and now we got Mevis kicking a long ball. Kind of ambitious, not thinking thought his teammate was going to make a diagonal run, but the ball was so far in the air, there's no way he was ever getting to it. Stone was hoping for the miss on that one. Stearns turns his back. The ball goes the other way. Here comes Vanderwill. Once again, I'd like to see it off the chest instead of a header to the blind. He's facing the wrong way. You don't know where your team's at. Warsaw hey, has it. Would you say so far in the possession game that the Dragons are known so well for, they're just not quite... It's a little off. Key. It's the first game. They're, everybody's playing real hard, but this transition's been really nice. Stearns with a great move. Sliding tackle, and the ball gets that forward to the goalkeeper and saved. That was a good little transition. Yeah, I mean, both teams are a little bit sloppy with their passes. It's obviously early in the season. And there's a foul on number seven on uh, Warsaw. Blake Burns against number seven, Vinny Stone. And hold on a sec. We've got a player down asking the official for a minute. And time's going to. And he kills the time, and we stop the clock at 17.35 left. And here comes a one sub allowed for the player that was down. When he stops the clock, he has to leave the field. And that in is comes. the first sub of the game for Warsaw. Yeah, it looks like number 20. Number 23 coming in, Aaron Wainscott. You're watching the RTC4.com internet and television network, and we are live from Argus High School tonight. Argus Dragons taking on the Warsaw Tigers. We've got 17.35 left to go in the first half. It's knotted up at two. Ball and from Bounder, Argus. header from uh, Naifong. Over to Tanner, Tanner, Travis Tanner, and he hits a great hit into the player and gets the corner kick, and uh, number 14's down. It looks like he got it right in the stomach <laughs> or potentially a little bit lower, but I think we're calling it the stomach. And he's down for a moment, catching the breath, and we're stopping the clock. Well, 17 to go. We've got an injury timeout. we got an injury timeout. I got an echo in my headset. Did yeah, you hear that? Number seven. 
Dominic Smith, or is that 14? I'm sorry. We'll take a minute to thank our sponsors at RTC Fiber Communications, the Zone Sports Complex in Northern Indiana. I don't, I don't understand this. We got two players leaving the field, and it's on an injury. I don't know why they're allowing that. You got two players coming and going on an injury. And the officials allowing it for some reason. Here's a long corner kick, and it's a header just missed. Just missed the grazing off his head. I don't know. I guess uh, that's how it is. And it's going to be a throw-in for the Warsaw Tigers. And there's a nice throw-in, and... Trump and the heads it out of bounds. And the ball's going to be over, and here it is. Trump's covering him 1v1. Looks. Causes him to make a mistake. Good pressure out of Trump. Trump he steals it, puts it in, and puts it up the line. And they're going to call a foul, and it's going to be Dragon's kick. Foul's on number four. Great work that time by Trump. Able to take on two Warsaw Tiger offenders and steal the ball out, and then he gets the foul called against Warsaw. Ballinger with the free kick. Long ball in the air. Stone has it and fakes. Ball's up to Nifong. Nifong heads it over. Stone receives with his foot, relaxes. Chips it forward. Ball's kicked out. Stone has it. Ball's tipped around. Goes wide. And it's going to be saved. Good little play out of number seven. Blake Burns from Warsaw to hustle and get that save. Throw in. Great little possession play out of Warsaw. Long ball. Over to Mevens. Mevin, sorry. And they got an offsides call, but the official doesn't see it. And they're playing on. And see what happens here. Yep. Yes. And uh, so we got a uh, free kick here. And, uh, yes, the uh, ARs will have to work a little bit out. There's a fresh group here. Uh, so they'll, they'll work their signals out to get everything going. But uh, it was a good call out of uh, the far AR, holding her flag up and being diligent with that. Two hands on the back and good ball from Stearns over to Stone. Stone pulls it back and fakes. Fakes another one. Gives a through ball. And unfortunately, goalkeeper slides out and saves it. Good work. Vanderbilt is going to be going to have to start anticipating that little through ball because Stone does dish the ball quite a bit. Looks like a nice pass opportunity yep. right there from Vinny. And just, yeah, it didn't seem like they were on the same page right there. Yeah. And here's the ball drop back. It's a bad drop. And then Vanderbilt may make him pay. And the ball's kicked across. Stearns, a nice little play out of Warsaw. Possession to get the ball switched. Good little cut through the middle, and he's looking long. And that's a good ball, and right up the middle, and Fishburne's going to reel that in off his line with ease. Yeah, you did notice the uh, two forwards for Warsaw were not really going with that pass. That, that yeah, time. it was a little bit too uh, too early. Beautiful night here at Argus. Sun just over the horizon right now. Temperature's probably about 80 degrees. Not a cloud in there. There's a few clouds in the sky. We've got a 13, 13.50 to go in the first half. It's tight at two. Stone has it. Gives a square ball to Nifong. Nifong rotates over and it's stolen. Good through ball. And then it's just Trump steps up. And here comes... Olds. Olds puts it up to Tanner. Travis Tanner has it. Goes down the line. Good ball over to uh, uh, Vanderwill. It's kicked out of bounds. And it's going to be corner kick. Across the line. And we have 13.22 to go. Tied to all here at Eugene Snyder Field in Argus. Let's see here. Tim Allmeyer comes back in for the Dragons. Good ball. Stone heads it, and it's saved by the keeper. Oh, boy, just he was barely, so Just close. barely, but 
the official, the AR, was on his line, and it didn't go off, so it was a good save. And handball. We got handball versus uh, or against the Dragons. Now, explain the, the goal to me. Does it have to cross? Cross all the over? way across the line. You betcha. Okay, so the ball has to go all the way across. Just okay. like uh, the end line or touch line, it has to go all the way across to be a goal. So he was right on the line. He was dancing, but you got to give him credit. It was a good save. Nice little header out of stone. Yeah, I think the goalkeeper was actually inside the yeah, box. Yeah, and you can be in the goal. You can be in the goal all day long. Why? Because your hand prevents the ball from crossing the line. You're you're saving it. So good little possession play out of Warsaw here. Let's see what happens. And Hustle out of Dragons breaks it up, and it's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. Twelve minutes left in the first half. Two two. And there's a slip, and unfortunately, he was already uh, bad throwing from the Tigers. Ooh, Warsaw's coach will not be happy. Frank will not be happy with that. Uh, a bad throwing at this level is very, very unacceptable from almost any coach's point of view. And uh, I'm sure they'll be hearing it. <laughs> We saw one of those in the Jamboree. We did Argus, see one of that in the Jamboree. Coach Vanderwill was not happy at all. Well, I mean, here's what happened on that play, which you might not have noticed. A bad throw in prevented a goal-scoring opportunity because even though Warsaw's player was pretty much off sides, since the ball came from off of the defender, he's no longer in an offsides position. If it would have been passed from his teammate, it's offsides. But since it came from an Argus defender, he would have been onside. So here's a quick shot from Stone, thinking that he could get it in, and a save by uh, Riviera. And nice there's play. a good play out of uh, Nifong. Osborne has it. And good shielding and turn out of Warsaw, and goes through and battles through Osborne and Nifong, and he still has it. And Tim Almeyer steps up, and it's going to be a throw-in for the Tigers. And Mevis, you could tell he's not quite got the wheels, Coach Vanderwill puts Tim Almeyer on him, who's definitely got a big engine and can stay with him. And, and <laughs> Mavis is trying to get a call right trying there. Trying to get and, uh, the old, like a little, uh, as they say, fish and bait and hook, and uh, yeah. the official didn't bite it. So, you know. Looks like one of those Sunday morning calls you get on the English Premier League. Sometimes, yep. And that's what we talk about with some of the stuff we don't like to see. And, uh there's a good little play out of Osborne to throw in for the Tigers. <laughs> all right, here we are. First half, 10 minutes left. Two all. Allmeyer with the header. Saved by Osborne. Put back towards the center. Here comes Vanderwill. Vanderwill with a nice shield shield, but two players from Warsaw are hustling, and they get the ball back. They play it wide. Two touch, and they play all the way around with a great through ball wide. Olds beats him to it. Nice little play out of Olds. He's battling tough. Here we go, and it's a great little chip to Mevis. And there's going to be off the post. Oh, and we, wow. Oh, my. And there's an obvious foul again out of Mevis using his body with the blatant push afterwards. And uh, the center official's going over to tell him that's it, no more. That's his third one, and he's, to he's just telling him right now. And he's talking back to the official, and that won't last long. That shot by Juarez went off of the post. Yeah, it was a great little through ball, and unfortunately for uh, Warsaw, it didn't go in. But as they say, Fishburne can thanks the wickets uh, that, that saved him on that one. And uh, Mevis, you like his spirit, you like his hustle, but you got to play upright and square. You can't lead with your shoulder all the time, and uh, that's going to get him in trouble, especially if he keeps uh, complaining to the official. Here comes Nifong. He's going to try to beat him, and it's going to be the Dragons throw in way deep at the end line. Here comes Nifong. He's going to go quick. Don't Not allow him to give a set up. Over to Betts. Betts taps it forward, and unfortunately it's a heavy touch. And here's a good through ball, and he was offsides. And the fans, the fans weren't liking it, but he was offsides. And once again... And here it is. There's the card. It stops clock with 8.05.
And number six, Mevis, has been jawing to the official the entire time, and it was only a matter of time. I told them that it would happen most likely. And dis distinction to the officials is a cardable offense, especially when it's been as much as it's been. Yeah, I think they gave him a little bit of leeway right there, and, you know, he just took more than he could, more than more leeway than they, the ref was willing to give him. And that's a yellow card for Mevis, so he's going to have to go out. Is there a certain time? No, as long as he leaves the field, someone can come in for him. Uh, sub comes in. And uh, so we are at 8.05, still in the first half, still 2-2. Two, two. And this is, you, you don't like to see that type of uh, situation out of players, especially this young. And uh, they are getting really chippy. They're not playing the ball, and it's kind of obvious. So they're going to have a penalty kick. It's a free kick on the outside. It should be a direct kick. And Stone's taking it. He's looking to Coach Vanderwill, seeing what he wants. Ballinger's big man in the middle. And he's chipping the Ballinger, and it's too deep, and it's out of bounds. And here comes a goal kick for the Tigers. Just right over the top of everybody on that one. Right. Not able to corral and get an attempt. Levin, Garrett, coming, Garrett Reinhold coming back in for the Tigers. Coming in for Blake Burns. And I, you know what? I really don't think it's a bad thing that uh, Warsaw is allowing the uh, players to take a breather now. It's been a long, hard fight already. Short kick, kind of curls down, and the Dragons have it back. Here comes Travis Tanner with the chip. And the ball's missed again, and it's free. And the ball's, the goal's open, and Stone has it, and he's taking the shot, and is blocked by a defender. Betts has it. Betts is going to take a shot. No, he grows through two, and he loses it, and it's picked up by Osborne. Gives it over to Vanderwill, and it's turned loose. And Fishburne way out and clears it way up. And there's a foul on Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> Two hands to the back, and it's going to be a free kick for the Tigers. Very good call there by the ref. Yeah, the, the official's right on it. Saw it, and uh, you don't like to see those. Because <laughs> now that just turned a potential uh, play into going against us. Stone has it. Stone looks. He's waiting for him to commit, and he makes a through ball wide to Nifong. Nifong's got his man beat. He's going to goal, and he goes around him. And he plays it through the middle, oh. and Stone's there, and it's unfortunate he doesn't get a good hit. It was a good play out of Nifong. Great hustle. He had his man beat. Osborne still has it. Gives it back over to Nifong. Nifong looks square to Stone. Steps two, and he takes it away, and Warsaw's on the attack. Trump kicks it wide. Head ball. Trump has it again. Up the middle to nobody but the Warsaw Tigers. Good little ball, and Ballinger gets it. And the ball's kicked around, and you can definitely tell it's getting towards the end of the half. 5.38 left, and players are getting tired. 2-2. Two, two. Nice long ball. It's a great through ball over. Trump's going to beat his man. And there's an obvious shoulder right to his arm extended, and there's an obvious foul. And these, I, I don't know why they feel they have to do that. All they end up doing is giving the other team free kicks. And then when they get to third or fourth one, they get a card. It is senseless. Seen a couple of those out of Warsaw. Seen one here in front of us. Well, from yeah, here, here's the biggest thing is that player, by doing that, gave us a free kick when he had a throw-in. Trump cleared it out. Let him clear it out. They get a throw-in. Instead, they do a silly shove and give the Dragons ball the, the ball back. I don't understand why players tend they feel they have to push from behind. There's a ball wide, and it's a great shot, and it's off target, just wide. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes it comes down to common sense and how well you can manage your emotions in the game. He was mad, basically, because Trump beat him back. 
instead of taking the nice throw in, he shoves him and gives away the free kick. And it's where it's a learning lesson for some of these players. Bounder with the long hit. It's missed by everyone. It goes back up in the air in the Tigers. And Travis Tanner hits it, and it's back in the air again. Betts puts it up to Vanderwill. Vanderwill wide to Travis Tanner. Tanner across the middle, headed out. Betts has a good ball with the shield. He goes with it. He keeps his, continues his run. He turns his back. The ball is loose. Here comes Stone, and the ball is cleared up. And here comes Zach Trump with the run. Clears it up quick and out of the way, and that's a smart play. He had two players defending coming after him. Warsaw was putting a lot of yep. pressure on him that time. Ball has it. Goes forward. It's loose, and here comes Travis Tanner with the break. He makes a great through ball to Vanderwill. Vanderwill's going up the line. Looks, and he's beat him. Here comes a cross, and it's clucked out of bounds, and it's going to be a corner kick. Good defensive play. Great hustle out of Vanderwill. Really like what I've seen from Vanderwill and Nifong, two young players for the Dragons. Yep. Really, really providing a lot of good plays. Sophomore freshman, here comes the ball quick. Stone, it's going to be over his head. And, it, ooh, he gets undercut, and the ball's out of bounds over the goal. Good try out of Stone. Ballinger was jogging up to get in the middle, but it was kicked long before he got there. <laughs> two fifty-three left in the half. Benny Stone showing some good hops there just to get up and get his head on that one. Well, I think he had some help from the player that he climbed his back. <laughs> and it's a long throw out of Tigers. Kicks the ball wide. Nice little play. Here comes the chance for him to advance. And waits too long. And uh, Ballinger has it and plays it up long. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Ball's played in the middle. Here comes Stone with a good through ball to Oh, and Nifong. Oh, Nifong is going to try the one-touch shot, and it's another corner. Good sliding save out of the number 10. Burrowsman from Warsaw. Good hustle good, there. Yep, yeah. good play all the way around. Smart through ball from Stone. Good little uh, cross shot from Nifong, and the freshman playing very well. And as you can see where Stone likes to go, he likes to go wide and sneak in from behind for everybody. Here comes the ball, and it's low. Here comes Trump with the shot, and it's not much on it. and goes straight to the keeper. Riviera with the save and a long throw out. Good little touch out of Warsaw. And there's a good tackle out of Tanner. Betts puts it over to Ballinger. Back over to Betts. Betts makes a round. Nice little move, and he still has the ball, and he's going down the sideline by himself. Makes a nice little ball up to Vanderwill. And it's going to be a goal kick. Unlucky for the Dragons. Good play for Warsaw. I'm guessing that corner kick by Nifong, it probably wasn't what he was intending to do. Uh, well, yeah, it was Osborne, I think, that took it. And was he it was Osborne? He was wanting to get it in the middle, and unfortunately he got it down low and hard on the near post. Uh, Trump had a chance for a shot, just didn't make quality contact, and that was a hard ball to do. And here's a great ball out of Riviera, and he's got him beat. Here it comes, and it's great save out of Fishburne again. What a sliding save. Timmy clicks it wide. Here comes Osborne. And that's played out of bounds for Warsaw. A minute left in the first half. Stone kicks it over to Nifong. Stone has it back. Stone looks. Square. Gives it over to Betts. Betts is going to move to it. What a reception. Takes it wide. Here comes Travis Tanner. He's got time. Kicks it. And good defense out of Warsaw. And he has the ball back. Here's the ball played off of Travis Tanner. And he chips it out of bounds, making a safe play with 28 seconds left in the half. Ball's thrown into Stone. Stone's going to go across the court field and see what he can do. He goes around one, two, and he's going to shoot it. And unfortunately, Riviera makes a great save. Ten seconds left here in the first half. They got a chance. And that is going to do it. At the half, it's going to be Warsaw two, Argus two, and we're going to go to halftime here with a tie ball game. Our scoring on the game, Warsaw started off at 37-36 with number six, Andrew Mevis scoring unassisted. And then at 33-35, Vinny Stone scored to even it up for the Dragons off of a Nifong assist. And then just about three minutes later, 
Dylan Ballinger scored to make it 2-1 to one off of a beautiful stone assist. And then with 21-20 to go, number 10, Tedros Burlesman scored for Warsaw off of a double assist from number 6, Andrew Mevis, and number 12, Eric O'Cook, to even it up at 2. So here on the rtc4.com network, we are at halftime with Argus and Warsaw tied at 2. I want to thank our sponsors for tonight's contest, RTC Fiber Communications, the Zone Sports Complex in Northern Indiana, In Stitches and Signs, CNS Outdoor, CNS Automotive, Blue Dragon Taekwondo, First Federal Savings Bank, and definitely want to give a big thanks to RTC4 and RTC4.com for helping us put this game on. We're going to take a break. We'll come back here in about eight minutes for the continuation of the second half of the game from Argus.
All right, welcome back here to Argus High School. Steve Stricker again alongside Andy Stone. <sighs> well, what do you think? That first half, lots of excitement, lots of uh, speeding play, long ball, short ball, a little bit of lack in possession out of both teams, but it is the very first game of the season. But I tell you what, there's been lots of excitement, lots of activity. It's 2-2. It's definitely not a slow, grinding, boring game. It is fast pace, end-to-end action, lots of corner kicks, lots of saves, lots of good stuff. So um, like we went over the stats at the beginning, uh, you know, got goals. Uh, first was uh, Warsaw early on. So the Dragons battled back with a, another uh, tying goal out of stone. And then the uh, Dragons go ahead with a great system stone to go by Ballinger, but unfortunately concede another one to where it's 2-2 all. The Lady Dragons are um, up in Kankakee Valley for their whole season opener that's away, and uh, they have just scored. Freshman Morgan Dunlap goes uh, puts a goal in with uh, 10 minutes into the game. And the Dragons are up 1-0 on Kankakee Valley. So that's pretty good news out of their program for the Lady Dragons. And speaking of the Lady Dragons, we're going to be here on Thursday oh, with yeah. their home opener taking on Plymouth. And they're going to have the pink out game, ounce of prevention cure uh, game. And if we can get on the ribbon right there. You can for scan the, down. You can see the little bit of uh, right there at midfield. There That's go. a perfect shot. Uh, yep. You can see the ounce prevention ribbon painted on the field in honor. We got it out there a little bit early because, you know, uh, everybody uh, wants to be aware of, uh, the, you know, the cancer uh, awareness with uh, ounce prevention. And it is going to be the home opener against the Plymouth Pilgrims, which the Dragons look to uh, well, we look to win and win big time. So uh, that's what we always uh, ask out of the Plymouth game. It's a great rivalry we've had for a long time with their program. We're going to be coming to you around 7 o'clock on Thursday, depending on how the JV you know time comes out. So we'll be here again Thursday night. Yeah, we can see that the play has already got quite a bit more physical as the time's gone on. Uh, lots of uh, extra pushing and shoving out of a little bit out of both, but... Definitely a little more out of uh, Warsaw. Just sometimes it's senseless, though. It ends up hurting your team instead of helping. And there, there's one thing that's for sure. A red card never helps your team, no matter what the situation is. It really hurts your team, and it hurts your team for two games. It hurts you for the game that you're in and for the next game. So, you know, it, it's uh, one of those things where you need to keep your cool. You need to be mature about the game. You need to understand what's going on. So... And, you know, it's one of those things. I myself was a very, <laughs> I guess you could say I was kind of an aggressive player, a little bit rough. And uh, But I can say in my whole career I never had received a red card. That player just hit the ball with his hand on purpose, and it wasn't called because he's looking into the sun. You almost got a red card at the alumni game. Hey, now listen here. What you were talking about there. <laughs> I was not. I was being gentle and soft. <laughs> I was getting beat up on by my nephews and a couple of them younger whippersnappers. And your older brother? Uh, he was at the other end. He was scared to come down by me. <laughs> All right. Warsaw's got the ball on the end, and it's a nice little through ball, and great step over by Almeyer for the defensive stop. Ball's clear way out and back in to the wide and the great square ball. And Ballinger has it. Kicks it out. Tanner, Travis Tanner has it. Looks Warsaw's, wide. Warsaw and, seems to be copying the uh, Dragons down here with their side-to-side -side movement. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And then Vanderwill has it. It's safe. It's in the ground. Here comes a quick cross. Knife on. Takes a nice touch over to Osborne and unfortunately couldn't handle it. And here's a quick header. The ball's in the air. It's loose. And Betts steps up and makes a nice little run through. The ball's lost. Here we go. Betts is battling. Good little turn, and Warsaw has it. And here comes Trump. Steps up, kicks it in the middle. Here comes Nifong. Stone over to Vanderwill. Tanner, Travis Tanner's going in. And boy, is he uh, caught by number seven. Burns runs right by him and receives it. And here comes the ball, and Stone has it. And the ball's played away. And Dylan Bounder receives it, fakes. <laughs> he fakes, and number 14 slides, comes to a complete stop. Bounder steps across him and then kicks the ball 
And it goes back into the Dragons' habit. Here comes Stone, and the ball's crossed. Betts with a great low tackle. Betts turns his ball body correctly, makes the play, looks. And there's a play sliding and kicks it out of bounds, and it's going to be thrown for the Dragons. Vanderwill with a nice little touch, and he's going to get through again. He still has the ball, and it's cleared out. Vanderwill drops it. Travis Tanner has a square ball, and the ball's chipped out. Here comes Zach Trump. Johnson, I mean, sorry. Goes through, and the ball's loose, and Warsaw's panicking, and there's Trump with the pressure. Trump with the pressure again and kicks it out. Slows the play down. And Mevis gets stepped on, and they're not allowing Mevis to have a chance to receive and turn with the ball. There's a play up. Stone has it. Stone takes it, of course. Drives the ball through the middle. Quick feed out of the players from the dragon side. Here's a good chip. Tim Almar's on him. Long ball wide. Goes real wide, and it's not a threat for the Dragons. Nice drop back, and here's a chip forward. Good little chip forward, and it's going to be out of bounds. Throw for the Dragons. Timmy Almeyer with a long throw, and it's still played, and this goes out of bounds. Throw for Almeyer again. Gives it to Betts. Betts is going to drop it. Turns it, kicks it up the line, and it goes out of bounds. Warsaw throw in. Well, they're back at the fast pace. And when you play this fast and this hard, the quality and the possession tends to go out of bounds with it. So we'll see what happens. Nice controlled drop to Riviera in the box. Long ball for the wide. Johnson hits it up, and Trump gets ran past, and the ball's chipped up and over. And there's a header, and it's over the goal. Oh. Just over the goal there by Warsaw, and a lucky break there as Fishburn comes way out again, and the header. Yeah, he's got to be cautious of that. Yeah, he's got to be able to know when that ball's going to be able to get to. Ball's headed up. Johnson has it, he's going to throw it in. Osborne. And (laughs) there it is, a blatant hit for no reason when Osborne's going by him. And gives the ball back to the Dragons. Stone gives it up to Osborne. Osborne got it. And the official says no. Play it from where it's called. Make sure the ball's set and stopped. So here comes Ballinger for the free kick. Going for distance. And they're on a mark stone. Here comes number 18. They're not letting him be free. Ballinger with the long ball in the middle. Here comes Tanner. Heads it back. Warsaw gets it. Good little trouble. Oh, and there's going to be a foul on Osborne, and it's going to be free kick for the Dragons. I didn't catch what he did there. Uh, I think he came from behind and got him with his arm, pulled him back to where he was off balance so he can get his foot on it, but I'm not real sure. That's why the AR is on that side, so he's got a good line of sight. Turn that uh, all the way over so it's up and down because it blocks the sun a little bit better when you do it that way. There you go. See, now there's a lot less of a gap. Number 12 is going to take the free kick for the Warsaw Tigers. Eric O'Cock here. And Fishburne's going to be ready. I don't think he's going to shoot from this distance, but you never can tell. Here's a big hit on the ground. Fishburne's caught a little bit of sleep and gets the ball skipped. And uh, get the save. Travis Tanner hits it up to Stone, and Stone's got some wheels. See what he does. He goes, chips. Nifong has it. It gives the throw in. Gives a great throw in to Vanderwill. Vanderwill has it, fights for it. He's taken down. No call. And Stone has it and puts it in, and it's goal. What a chip by Stone. He's paid attention in the free ball. Off the rebound, Stone. Off the rebound. Warsaw was caught. And Stone puts it in again, unassisted this time. Came off of the Warsaw players in a battle for Vanderwill. You got to give Vanderwill a ton of credit. He was battling and battling and got knocked down. The ball squirts out. Stone's paying attention. Steps up. Toe pokes it past the keeper. Dragons up 3-2. 32-45 left to go in the game. Stone gives him a 3-2 advantage. 
So we got an update from Kankakee, still 1-0 for the Dragons. Uh, they said five shots on goal for the Dragons, a zero so far for Kankakee. So that's a good sign. About 22 minutes left in the half. Stone, through ball, it's brilliant, right up, and he kicks it back to Riviera. Hard ball to settle, and he clears it out wide. That's a good play from the keeper. He would not like, yeah, that. he wouldn't like those type of passes every day, I guarantee it. Here's a good save, and he's way off sides for Warsaw, and he's called. And that ball's kicked anyways, and all that does is waste time. And when the Dragons are up, we don't care if we saw, or Warsaw causes a waste of time. It just helps the Dragons. Once again, it goes back to smart play. When you're up, great. When you're down, it's not so good. Great turn from Nifong. Stone chips it back up. Nifong's battling. And it's going to be a throw in for the Dragons. Stone has it. Gives the ball over. It's in the middle. It's up in the air. Stone allows the fake, waits for the play. Here's a shot from distance, and it's a great oh. save from Riviera. Just about goes back in. A nice shot from Stone from about 25 yards out. That's his range. He ripped it as a quality shot. Good save. Nice play out of number 12. Allmeyer with the Oh, God, the here hustle. comes Allmeyer. Allmeyer's looking. He's like, I'm going to take it. Take it, Timmy. <laughs> you hear their team, or, co or excuse me, the fans yelling step because he they were just letting him bring it as close as he wanted. you got to shoot that when they give you that much distance. I would have liked to have seen Timmy take that shot yeah. right there. That would have been at least a shot on goal. And who knows, yeah. once you get a shot, maybe you, you get a yeah, rebound. Uh, rebound, just like in basketball, you always follow a shot. But in soccer, you follow it on offense and defense and see what you can do to clear out defensively. Matt Crum coming in, Vanderwill coming out. Great hustle out of Vanderwill, and Dragons have a corner kick. Let's see what Nifong, the freshman, can do. Kicks it up. Nice Bounds it with the header, and it's out of bounds. Pretty nice kick there by the freshman. Bounder is known for getting his head on the ball. He's a very tall, very, very strong and wide-bodied player, and he is not the least bit fearful of heading the ball he's got a ton of goals he did for me in junior high and he's continued that and uh we always said he had kind of a magnet to it but that's just because he hustles so much for head balls great kick out of riviera nice dutch touch out of uh ballinger and the ball's been knocked loose and here comes to almeyer goes again wide with the outstep goes around to the turns Kicks it up to Travis Tanner. Travis Tanner to Stone. Good possession play out of the Dragons now. Back over to Tanner. Nice little overlapping runs to Crum. Crum to Stone. Stone's cutting towards the middle and gets a heavy touch, unfortunately. Great work. That's the possession play that Coach Vanderwell, you see him over on the sideline clapping during that little sequence. And Stone shields, and he gets the ball taken away. Almeyer with a brilliant tackle, and it's going to be a throw-in, and it prevents the quick counter attack here's a throw in Ballinger lets it go through Trump recovers and kicks it back up the field oh nice little fake and here comes number seven Burns Ballinger shields the body correctly Stone has it tons of room in the mids and he's going to chip it up and it's going to be Stopped and recovered by Betts. Cover with Betts who gets the ball, slips, and here comes Warsaw. Almeyer misses. And Betts hustles the entire length of the midfield and comes all the way back and stays with his man. Here's a good ball over to Mevis. Mevis cuts it in. Oh, he's wide open for a shot, and it's a brilliant goal out of Warsaw. Absolute brilliant. And he's wanting a sub. No, he's not. He was looking like he was limping. He's, I think he does want a sub. That's number 12, Eric O'Cock, with the goal off of this assist by number six. Yep. Andrew Mevis. Mevis with the drop at a 45. You've heard me talk about it, and it's so effective when the defense follows the ball all the way down. It leaves the opening. And now, 
Okok is stretching. He's got a cramp, and he's coming off the field. It was a brilliant shot, and it looks like number uh, 12 or 13 is coming in. I can't really see. It's number 13 is coming in. So if 28-19 left to go in the game, that's a 3-3 ball game now. Well, I tell you what, it's a back-and-forth game, and we're going to have a thrower on our hands till the end. Could very easily see this one going into extra time. Well, uh, in regular season, there won't be extra time. They don't. Do they do kicks? Uh, no, this is a regular season. It's a non-conference game, so it's just a nil-nil or 3-3 draw. If it's a draw, if it's the same thing, and they just ended it a draw. So... But uh, 28 11 left in the game. Three all with an absolute stunning play out of Warsaw. I, I loved it. I called it. It was a really, really nice goal. And he was offsides with the head ball. And uh, Stearns is going to be coming in for the Dragons. Looks like he'd probably give uh, Travis Tanner maybe a break. Offsides kick, and Ballinger's going to take it. And once again, Mevis is over there jawing to the official. You thought he would learn after the first half when he got a yellow, but sometimes it's a hard lesson. Great through ball, and he prevents Crumb from turning, and uh, ball's played back to Riviera. Riviera kicks it out. Stone can't get to it, but Betts does. Betts makes a run. And he looks. Uh, unfortunately, he passes it straight to the Warsaw player. And Tam with a great run across the middle, and he takes it, kicks it up. Ball's received, and Betts heads it up. Stone tries a flick. Here comes Osborne. Here's Vanderweel with the free ball, and it's kicked out of bounds at the last moment for a corner kick, and the Dragons are going to take it. Good pressure out of the Dragons. And here comes the uh, substitute, Stearns. Alex Stearns coming in for someone here. Let's see. Don't forget, you can tweet us at Argus Sports. Oh, this is a good time for a sub. Out comes Osborne, and Alex Stearns has got to be, I think he's like 6'5". So we got uh, Vanderweel taking the corner kick. We got 6'5", Stearns in the middle. If nothing else, he's going to draw a ton of attention and leave Ballinger open. Ballinger's going up. Ball touched by Travis Tanner, and it's cleared out. Johnson with a header back into play. Header back out of play from Warsaw. Stearns kicks it back, and it's cleared. Vanderbilt picks, or uh, Fishburn picks it up. Kicked it up, and out of bounds, and it's off. Ooh, and it's going to be off of Argus, and Warsaw's ball. I think he saw a glance off of uh, Crumb's leg, but uh, definitely was contact with Warsaw. The other was hard to see from here. Great wide ball. Mevis in the open in the middle. Great run out of uh, Zach Trump. Or Evan Johnson, I'm sorry. Clears it out. And the Dragons are relinquishing a lot of the midfield at the moment. And here comes Stone. Stone kicks it up. And Riviera is playing way off his line. And he's ready for those balls. So what the Dragons are going to have to do is... Get a nice long shot from distance while the keeper's way off his line. And there's a ball. Doesn't get through. Betts tried it. And now the counterattack's on. Mevis over in the corner. Johnson's just containing him. It does a good job. Great through ball. Kicks it back. Mevis has it. And the ball saved. Chipped and saved. And uh, Fishburne has it. Update from Kankakee Valley. Argus scores a second goal by Courtney Dunlap this time with 9.16 left in the half to take a 2-0 advantage. All right, we got a foul. So Lady Dragons, uh, Dunlap. And Dunlap, Dunlap and Dunlap. <laughs> doing a great job for one, the Dragons. Uh, one each for there. The senior Courtney and the freshman Morgan. So the ball's been taken wide. Here comes Crumb applying some pressure. Chipped up, and he's onside. Kicks it across, and it's a beautiful goal again. Mevis scores off the cross. And the Dragons have got to do better on that defensive run. Mevis just wanted it more. 
Number seven on Burns. that one, Blake Burns with a beautiful pass into Mevis. And with 24-10 left to go in the game, that puts Warsaw back ahead for the first time since 33 to go in the first half. Also number 11, Jonah Osborne, and number 13, Jacob Oldis. Well, we definitely said it was going to be a good game, and this is uh, living up to an amazing game, 4-3, back-to-back, over and again. Here we go. See who's going to get the next goal. You like these type of games? They got all kinds of entertainment. Good play, good hustle, and that's good little possession out of the Dragons. And much better, much more sensible play, and they are just moving the ball well. Unfortunately, that pass gets away from them. And here comes the counter out of Warsaw. Kicks the ball back to Mevis. Mevis looks. And there's a bad shot, and it goes wide. Not going to be a chance for a goal. Goal kick on the Dragons. Well, you know, here we go. we got to see what's up. We're going to see if Stone and the gang with Osborne and uh, Mai Fong and Vanderweel can get something going. we got Chino in for his first time for the game. And there goes Stone, and Stone's on the counter. And let's see what happens. He got past three, and, and it misses. Kind of a slid at, so he had to go above him, and uh, it was a little bit from behind. It slowed down his attack, and Tim beats him to the ball, and it's going to be a Warsaw throw. They're kind of marking stone. They're keeping an extra defender back kind of towards him to keep him off of it. Ball out of head ball out of Ballinger. Chino settles, turns, and it gets slipped away. Here comes uh, Oates, gets turned off the ball by Mevis. Mevis puts a nice little through ball wide, and it's back in. And unfortunately for uh, Warsaw, it went right by him, but a nice little hit out by Oz, uh, Olds and kicks it up. Unfortunately, they didn't hit it to place. Here comes Ballinger and kicks it right back to the other team. And here's another attack. And Fishburne's coming out, and he's definitely going to have the ball with time. You know, Andy, i got to give Mevis a lot of credit here for the Warsaw Tigers. Yep. He went out with a yellow card, was really jawing at the refs, but he's come back and really kind of settled himself down and played a really good second half for the Tigers. Yeah, so far he's been all over. He's quick, he's active, and I tell you what, I think that eight extra minutes at halftime probably helped him because he was losing steam quick. Here's a ball in, and it's out of bounds, and it's going to be goal kick. Well, you you know, the both squads have 10 seniors each. Uh, you know, uh, Warsaw's battled back from a very uh, unsuccessful season by their standards or by most qual quality teams. So there's Chino with the header. And uh, they are giving the Dragons everything they want and then some because they are up 4-3. to three. Olds with a nice little header to keep the ball in play. Mevis is going to try and a great save out of Olds, blocking it, using his body. Chino going to try to contain, and he's, Burns is just too fast, goes around him. Nice little through ball. He's got to play, kicks it across the goal, and then great hustle out of Osborne to get across to save it. And he clears a long clear. Vanderweel may have him beat, and there's a good header to save the play. Oh, there's a foul from behind. <laughs> and the Dragon's going to have a free kick. And let's see what they can do with it. Ball's up to Stone. Stone looks, fakes, goes past one, gives a good through ball, and it's intercepted. Long ball back, and Fishburne's going to recover this one. And let's see if what we got. The Dragon's going to have to get some creative uh, measures going on. We're approaching 20 minutes to go in this one, yep. and it's a 4-3 Warsaw advantage. Ballinger has it, tries to pass through the player instead of around. Olds has it, passes through, gets the ball over to Stone. Stone's got two on him. And here's the ball back. Johnson has it, and it's going to be a foot race. And Ballinger has it back and kicks it to no one with his right. Has plenty of time to do something, but just kicks it out of bounds. Four. 
Head ball. Goes wide out of Warsaw. Next one, let's see what they do with it. Steps, here comes Tim. Gets a good chip, and here comes Nifong with the rotation. Well, Nifong's not going to beat him, but he does get to play. Goes around and makes a save, and it's going to be a corner kick. Oh, and they call a goal kick. Uh, I thought it went off of the, the other team, but uh, that's all right. Going to be a goal kick. Good hustle. It's kind of on the far side right there. With and the now AR Riviera on. is not taking uh, going to hustle. He's going to take as much time as possible to set it down for a goal kick. And this is where you start the taking your time starts helping because now they're up. Adjust the ball a little bit. Yep. So is there any kind of anything that tells them that, you know, they can limit that? To well, I mean, if they catch a ball, they only have a certain amount of time to clear it out. They can't just sit and hold it. Like if somebody kicks or shoots it and they catch it, they only have like eight seconds. Um, you know, there was a famous play against Brazil with uh, the Women's World Cup where that came into play and... Uh, you know, uh, they uh, we got a free kick because of that. But uh, you know, they have they have to play the ball out within a certain amount of time once they catch it. But they can dribble around that box all day long until someone goes and causes them to pick it up. But once it's picked up, then they have to play it out. Ball's loose. Here it goes. Kicks up forward. Head ball. Olds. Olds kicks it up. Chino's on the wide. Applies the pressure. And it's going to be a throw in for the Tigers. Uh, balls through. And that's a good play out of Trump. Trump's got wheels and he's taking it away. Here comes Tim with the tackle. And what a tackle oh, wow. it is. Here comes Travis Tanner wide. Puts it in the middle to Stone. Stone looks. Fakes. Gives the ball to Chino. Chino, the ball's chipped back, and it's right over to knife on right in front of the oh. ball, and it's blocked. What a play defensively and offensively, but the great hustle out of Warsaw causes the defense to save it. Tim kicks it up, and it's going to be a through ball, and Chino was offsides anyways. Looks like Nifong might have had a shot right there, unable to get a good shot on the goal. What we got going on here? We have something, and there's going to be a free kick back here. For the Dragons and Stones lining up, this is definitely his range. Missed that. What was the call? I'm not sure what the call was. I was looking ahead with the offsides and the out of bounds. I did not see what they called back here. It's a foul on Warsaw, and this is definitely Stones' range. He likes these curlers, and he's going to, the goalkeeper Riviera is giving him a lot of the far post. He doesn't have a massive amount of height. Let's see what Stone can do with it. Oh, and he puts it right in the wall. And it's a good good defensive stance out of Warsaw. And Stone's going to wish he had that one back. Chips it up. Here comes Osborne on the wide. And it's kicked out of bounds, and here comes the Dragons with the throw in. Yeah, Stone was going to want a curler on that and just got too much into it and hit that ball rock solid. Out comes Tim Almeyer. As you can see here at uh, Eugene Snyder Field, the lights are on, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The sun is down, and it's beautiful temperature. All right, balls in play, and it's going to be throw in for the Dragons. Ball's played off. It goes to Ballinger. Ballinger looks, gives it up. Tanner has it, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson makes a move, runs, goes, kicks it up. And here comes the ball off of the Warsaw Tigers. Here's a throw in over to Nifong. Nifong turns in the middle. Nobody's there. And a good clearance out of Warsaw. You can see a little bit of a sense of urgency out of the Dragons. They're starting to pressure up a little higher. We just got to make sure they do not allow a counterattack. 15 minutes left in the game. Dragons down 4 to 3 versus the Warsaw Tigers. Warsaw definitely taking their time on the inbounds throw on that one. Yep. And that's all a part of the game a little bit. Oh, it's with a nice through ball. Chino's offsides again. And that's been a problem for 
Pacino over the years. And, uh, you know, as a coach for him in junior high, we had a long, long discussion and some things, and I'm sure Coach Vanderbilt's letting him have it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how he uh, counteracts and uh, learns from that. Oh, and it's a nice little slip ball through, and here comes Mivas. Kicks the ball crossed. Fishburn and lets it roll out of bounds, and it's going to be a goal kick. We've got 14 minutes left to go in this one. It's still 4-3, to three, Warsaw. And Ballinger puts it way up in the air. Travis Tanner goes back and settles it, gets it. Ball's loose, and here comes Nifong. Travis Tanner goes, and it's going to be dropped back. And Riviera's way out, 10 yards out of the box, and kicks it out of bounds because that's the safe play. Here comes Johnson with a throw in. Nice long throw. Travis Tanner with a header. Stone's going to get him, and it does not. Unfortunately, here comes the ball back, and it's past Osborne. Stone's running across. Ball's wide. The girls' team has taken a 2-0 lead into the halftime at Kankakee Valley. Here's a shot, and it's way over the line, and it's going to be a goal kick. Good start to the season so far for the girls over at Kankakee Valley. Yep, and here we go. we got a sub. Tyler Betts in. Vanderweel out. 13 minutes left in the game. Here comes Ballinger. Ballinger chips it up, and it's over the head, and then over to Johnson. Johnson carries. Back leading, and fortunately the pass is a little hard and not to Tanner's feet. Johnson working super hard. Johnson goes through and heads it out of bounds. Like to see him put his left foot out and Dutch touch and save that and get control. Ballinger heads it back in the middle. Drops it back over. Warsaw using the field now. Spreading the Dragons. Kicking the ball up. Nice little play. Back towards the center and here's a tackle out of Betts. Ball rolls out of bounds. And here comes the Dragons throw, and here comes Tim Almeyer back in. And out comes Jacob Olds. Ball to Stone. Gets it over to Betts. Betts, and they got Tim, or nope, Gino's still up top. I thought Tim's on the wide. And... Trump plays it wide and goes up the line. They got an advantage. Ball's in and save out of Fishburn. Fishburn with the clear. Now uh, Dragons are kind of gone to a kickball system, and they're not working it, if you notice. They're just kicking long ball and trying to get a, an advantage, and it's not working too well. Warsaw's been playing deep to prevent that, and then that gives them a lot of chances for counters. Handball, not called. <laughs> Shanked, and then picked up by Fishburn. Cleared out by Fishburn, and as you can see, they're playing behind it and stepping to the ball. Stone beats him to it. Stone's got him with pace. Yeah. Yeah, leans against him and takes him out of the play. And now, oh, and he's going to play the I want a sub routine so he doesn't get in trouble any further. And uh, now Vinny Stone's got a chance. Burns is coming out. Burns, uh, Burns has the foul. Burns has the foul, and he's off the field, and in comes Mevis. And then Stone's got a free kick. Let's see what Stone does on this time. He's going to want that other one back. We're going to see what we get here with a free kick. Similar shot length from the opposite side of the field as the last one. See if he can get it off the ground a little bit. Looks like the goalie's a little better position, too. Well, this is where you'd want to do the curler on the near post, and that's a chip far. Ballinger heads it, and it's too wide. 
And it was not a shot. It was a chip. It got to its target, Ballinger, but he was unable to head it on, and that's just a good play out of uh, both the Tigers and the Dragons. We are approaching 10 minutes to go here in the opener with a 4-3 to three Warsaw advantage. Yeah, I mean, some uh, some officials could have given him or might have given him a yellow card on that thing. He was on his way to the goal going around him, and he prevented that run. But, uh, the center tonight decided not to. But I think uh, part of it was he was instantly acting like he was wanting a sub and uh, so on and so forth to try to pre- prevent that uh, yellow card. But that's how it goes sometimes. And Ballinger has it and clears it out. It's a good safe play, and it's in the stands. Oh, off the top of the fence and back onto the field of play. Tapped out of bounds. Nope. He runs by it because they are not. They're using the clock as much as they can. Going to debate about it. Nine minutes, 20 seconds left in the game. Dragons down four to three. And it's out of bounds off of Black. Tim Almeyer with a great tackle and a great hard work. Stone gets it, turns, and drills it up, and now it's a foot race, and Vanderweel's going, and the goalkeeper's off his line and gets the ball. But once again, it's kind of a long ball system, and it's not been real effective for the Dragons. They did a lot better uh, game when they uh, were moving and possessing and passing around. As you've seen there, the goalkeeper set it down because he could use the clock some. But once he lays it down like that, he has to play it out with his feet. He's not allowed to pick it back up. So that can get you in trouble if you make the wrong choice, especially with the wrong time. Good work out of Betts. Betts fighting for it, and it gives the free kick to the drag or Warsaw Tigers. Here's a quick play. They chip it up. Headed it back, which is a brilliant play because you're not allowed to pass to your keeper directly by your feet, but any part of the body other than your feet, and you can do so, and he headed it right to his keeper's hands. Vanderbilt misses, and here comes Tim Almeyer has the ball. Sets it over to Tanner. Travis Tanner kept it in, and the ball's up to Stone. Stone kicks it up to Tim. Tim Almeyer goes. Oh, and he's got him beat. And he turns it. Great turn. He's bat on two. And the ball's kicked out of bounds. And here comes the Dragons down on the offensive end. And we got a sub. Number 11 looks like Josiah Osborne's going to be coming in. And they don't get the sub in. Ball's in the middle. And Stone has it. And it's a goal from Stone again with a tie. Brilliant play. Oh, my word. Vinny Stone ties it up at four. (laughs) What a play. Vinny Stone seems to be in the right place at the right time. There's an old-fashioned word for that. It's called hustle, and that's three goals and an assist for Stone on his opening debut as a senior for the Dragons. Oh, my. What What a a play. play. What a play. (laughs) Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I tell you. Here we go. Yes, it was played to the advantage. It was not called a foul because of – of the advantage going forward and stone took advantage of it and definitely took advantage of it by putting the ball in and they stopped the play at this moment to allow the sub come in at the beginning of the kickoff here 7 16 left in the game 4 4 all the excitement all the drama let's see if the dragons can keep their composure in a defensive end and possibly squeeze in another one. You know, this would be a brilliant result for both teams as a 4-4 tie and a level of a game like this has been. No fan would be upset. I really don't think. The coaches would probably be happy with it. It's just been a tremendous hard battle the whole time. Well, let's see if the Dragon or the uh, Warsaw Tigers can come back because they were kind of in a delay you yep. know mode with the 4-3 lead and now they're going to have to kind of go back on the offensive here oh and it's and a good back that's ball a good through sign that they can do it and uh he plays back travis tanner is going to play protective defense and just contain keep his body between the ball and the goal and he said let him do all the fancy stuff he keeps going backwards and that's just fine and the official or the fans for warsaw are kind of getting on their own player for playing with it too much you know, I, you don't like to hear the fans yell at the players. Let them play the game. Uh, you know, he was doing some quality stuff. He was creating space. 
you know, and that, there it is. That's perfect sportsmanship right there. Number 13 for Warsaw, uh, Riley Brennan, and number eight for Travis Tanner high-fiving each other after the battle and the good play and before the goal kick, and that's just what you want to see. The players love the battle. They like to work hard, and you see the great sportsmanship involved in that. Here we are, 5.55 left in the game, 4-4 tie. Great opening match for the Dragons and Warsaw Tigers. Here's a throw in. Ball's played. And it was out of bounds. He says across the line, and he's standing right in front of it, so it's a good call. Quick throw out of Tim Almeyer. Gives the ball to Stone. Stone's going to go with pace. And a great left-handed or left-footed pass. Vanderbilt cuts in, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Ziggs, when the pass was a zag, and they didn't get he linked up to Vanderbilt to Nifong. Stone gives the ball back over to Vanderbilt. Back over to Tim Almeyer. A little bit of possession play. Tim slips, but he's got wheels, and he's back up his feet and gets the possession again. Dylan Ballinger chips it up. Travis Tanner heads it and gives the ball to Vanderwiel. Ballinger settles. Taps right over to Betts. Betts looks. He's going to go with some pace. Gives the ball out to Nifong. Unfortunately, there's a player between him and the play. And there's a foul on Nifong, and it's going to be a Warsaw free kick. And... Uh, Ball's played short, and here comes Warsaw playing it out of the back. And a good little turn, and he threw ball up to Mevis. Mevis is giving headaches to the Dragons all night, kind of like Stone has to Warsaw. Mevis is playing, kicks the ball wide. Good tackle, he gets through it. And Stone gets through it, and it's off of the Dragons. going to be a corner kick. 4, 20 left. Corner kick, 4, 4 in the match. Got to love it. Here's a great hard-fought battle. Let's see if the Dragons can maintain some composure. Stone is back in the middle with Ballinger, Betts, Osborne. We got Post with Evan Johnson on the front, Zach Trump on the back. Here comes a swooping in. Long sag header. Nope, misses. Travis Tanner lets it float to the outside as a smart play. Kicks it right, a long ball up the... Vanderwill. Vanderwill is going to give a through ball to Tim. Tim's going to keep going and out steps Riviera and has to play it immediately. And Vanderwill heads it up, and unfortunately, nobody's there for the Dragons. Ballinger runs through it and heads it forward. Tim gives a square ball. Nope, carries it. And battles through, and it's a straight play for both people. They both hit the ground, and the official lets them go on. And now here's some ticky tacky play. Handball, Trump. Oh, he didn't call it. <laughs> he missed it. Yeah, he yeah. missed it totally. Here comes Stone. Gives a through ball, and it's off the back of the feet from Vanderweel. Yeah, unfortunately, that was uh, it was on the far side of the official. His body was shielding the call. We could see it up here, and, uh, you know, it's how it goes. That's why they uh, have an official out there. Under three to go now, still 4-4. Four, four. Stone battling with it. And there's a tackle, and it ball's off of Warsaw. Stone has the throw in. Off of Warsaw again, and Dragons throw it in. Here comes Osborne. Stone's saying, hey, throw it up long. <laughs> We're tired down here. Good chip from the bicycle from Stone. Stone's going to run through it, receive it, chips it back forward again, and Vanderbilt's going to fight for it. Oh, and there's a good play out of uh, Nifong, and it's going to be a throw in for Warsaw. Warsaw with the long throw fast. Cut off by Johnson. Johnson looks, plays, and here comes Warsaw with the big switch, and he's wide open. Timmy's over here on him. And let's see what he got. Great play out of Tim to kick it out of bounds, and here's a throw in for the Tigers. Two, oh, three left in the game. Outside's Curler. And it's out, oh. misses, and Mevis is missed. He was offsides. He was a step behind. Johnson or Trump, I wasn't sure who the last defender was. And he didn't argue with it, so he must have knew he was offsides. Ballinger with the quick kick. And number 10, Brizzlesman, or Barrelsman, has been really tough for Warsaw. And Vanderweel with the foul. Shoves from behind. He's playing advantage because the goalkeeper has it. 
I'm surprised Vanderbilt didn't get a warning there. He did shove him from behind when he was shielding him. Oh, and he's offsides, offsides. again. He's in line with the the ARs in line with it. It's kind of obvious. Approaching one minute to go in the game. Warsaw fans were not happy with that call, but it was very clearly the offsides. player was offside. The other thing is he kicks it way out of bounds like that. It, it was it didn't help him any. Here comes Stone with a huge kick up to Travis Tanner. He lets it roll and it goes out of bounds. 43 seconds left in the game, 4-4. Four, four. Let's see if anybody's got some long-distance magic. Stone steps to it and heads it up and out. He wants it out of his end as much as possible. It's a great chip ball. Here comes Ballinger. Ballinger settles, has it, kicks it up the line, and it's kicked out of bounds, and it's going to be Dragon's ball. 21 seconds. Ballinger's going to have a long throw, and it's headed up and out by Warsaw. Here comes Stone. Stone's going to go for the long-distance shot. Here's tackled. Stone's going to have it. Seven, Looks, six, through ball. Five, Travis Tanner, four, or Betts is through. Three, Crosses. Headers it in. Oh, oh, he just misses at the end of the game. A header oh. over the goal. What a chance out of the Dragons. Beautiful pass from oh, Betts that boy. time. And just four. over the top of the goal. What a game. Fourth, four. Brilliant tie in the match. Absolutely outstanding. What a hustle game. What great work. Both teams have got to be proud with how they played. Tremendous work. Oh, boy, oh, boy. For the first game of the season, you couldn't ask for a better opener. Tremendous play. Oh, my word. <laughs> ah, boy. I thought that was a perfect chance. What a cross out of bets. And ah, just absolutely tremendous. Well, let's recap the scoring here for the game tonight. It started off at the 37-36 mark in the first half with Warsaw. Number six, Andrew Mevis scoring, making it one to nothing. Warsaw at 33-35. Vinny Stone off of an Owen Nifong assist tied the game at one. Then with 30-40 to go in the game, Vinny Stone with a nice crossing pattern to Ballinger for an easy tap in to make it a two to one ball game. Wow! With advantage Argus. Ah, oh, boy. And then right at twenty one twenty, number ten for Warsaw, Tedros Burlsman scores off of a double assist from Mevis and number twelve Eric O'Cook, and that led us to a two to two score at the half. Coming out in the second half, Vinny Stone, unassisted at 32-45, gave the Dragons a 3-2 lead. Warsaw would go on a two-goal run to Two. take a 4-3 yeah. advantage. They had a goal at 28-19. Uh, assist from Mevis to number 12, Eric O'Cook. And then at 24-10, their fourth goal was a assist from Blake Burns to number six, Andrew Mevis. It was a brilliant, brilliant couple goals. I got to, you know, you got to give them credit. There was a couple brilliant goals there. Just quality team play out of Warsaw in the second half. But the resilience of the Dragons showed through. And they uh, they come back and battled back 4-4. Four, four, game and, then, and season opener. How can you go wrong? And uh, the last update we had for the girls was 30 minutes left. Dragons up 2-0 against Kankakee, so they're doing well in the varsity program. And, uh, well, I think that's what we're going to do for the evening. What do you think, Steve? Yep, we're going to wrap it up here from Argus High School tonight. We want to thank all of our sponsors, RTC Fiber, the Zone Sports Complex in Stitches and Signs, CNS Outdoor Automotive, CNS uh, Outdoor and CNS Automotive, Blue Dragon Taekwondo, and First Federal Savings Bank. And thank you, Scott Sager. And for Andy Stone, I'm Steve Stricker. And good night from Argus. We will see you on Thursday for the girls' home opener versus Plymouth. Uh, tune in around 7 for the game on Thursday at rtc4.com. Thank you and good